Hey guys, how's it going? I took the troop sheets off the truck, so it looks a little different, but you can see the horn real good. This is the MKT 23075. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all hear the horn, but stick around to the end of the video. I'll show it to you a little bit more up close and uh, tell you a little bit about it. So here you go. Alrighty guys, so this was the uh, Cockham's MKT 23075. Uh, this is actually the largest conventional ship horn that has ever been made. Um, now you do have your steam horns, like your Leslie, like the 425 and your 575. They're a little bit larger than this and blow a little bit deeper, but as far as conventional horns with a diaphragm that are meant for air, this is as big as it gets. Now. This is the 23075. Uh, there is a um, 150 110. Um, now, the 23075 and the 150 110, that stands for 230 millimeters, which is the size of the diaphragm in the power chamber. And then 75 is, of course, the hertz. It blows at 75 hertz. So, the James R. Barker, you may know, the Barker's Bark. It has a 23075 uh, like this, which is the larger horn. And then it has a 150-110 as well. Um, and now I do have a 150-110 coming. I uh, did not know that. It's coming from the same place this horn came, uh, but it's on its way over. So before too long, I should be able to have the Barker's Bark. So that'll be really cool. Um, now it does have this big power chamber. It says Super Typhon on it. Uh, this is quite a bit larger than like a KM uh, power chamber. I'll just kind of show it to you there. Um, and I am using an airtime valve. This is a three-quarter inch valve. Uh, this actually came off of a KM horn. Uh, came out of like the heater box. These are the style valves that they have. Um, so pretty cool to be able to use that. And I am working on getting another valve just like this to put on the 150-110 when I get it. Um, so anyway, pretty cool. This section right here is actually cast iron, this first part, and then the second part is cast iron as well. Um, now the bell flare is actually fiberglass, which is pretty nice just because of weight. Uh, this thing already is really heavy. It's uh, upwards of 200 pounds, maybe, maybe a little bit more with the stand. Um, but if this flare was cast iron or some kind of metal, like the rest of the body of the horn it would just be crazy heavy um so anyway nice having that um, fiberglass but anyway y'all will see the uh 150 110 here before too long with this one and hopefully everything works good and they sound just like the barker so i'll let you know anyway guys i appreciate you watching we'll see you on the next one